What am I most excited for audience to experience in Early Man? I think the characters, you kind of love them. I have, I keep trying to choose a favorite. My jump between Hognob and Bunny. Bunny's a kind of cameo scene stealer. Um, but there's such variety and, and there's, because it's a Nick Park film, there's always just such joy and warmth in the characters that you can't help but fall in love with them. Doug and Hognob are just, they're just best of pals. They, they kind of, uh, they've done everything together, they hunt together, they spend most of their life together, they have a kind of symbiosis. And um, Hognob is slightly more intelligent than Doug and gets him out of sticky situations. So he's kind of, uh, Hognob's, he's, he's, he's not, there are certain things he's not allowed to do because of the fact that he is a hog. Um, but uh, but you, throughout the film, even those prejudices get thrown away. So they're kind of, they're, they, they're like a double act and, and I adore them both. What I love about Doug is he's just, in, he's so optimistic. He finds joy and humor and excitement in pretty much everything. You can see from how, uh, how sort of wide-eyed he is, that was quite a good <laughs> inroad into finding his voice because everything is amazing. Um, and that was fun to play. went to Ardman in Bristol to the studios and Maisie and I got dressed up in big caveman outfits and we fought a bit and that was pretty much the entirety of my preparation uh, and then it was sitting in a booth with the genius that is Nick Park and playing it was just a huge amount of play lack of self-esteem or not believing in yourself and really in the end it's about the encouragement of the team and the people around you to have the confidence to to aspire really and that's uh, that's what he gains I love working with Nick Park I would pay a huge amount of money to do it again uh, if I possibly could I think he is he just has this amazing mixture of qualities of um, of a kind of playful sort of naughty humor mixed with extraordinary warmth and 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 sort of kindness um, but also he knows exactly what he wants so there's so there's you, you, he allows you to improvise around things, but at the same point, he also really hears it, and, uh, and so you feel like you're in, in strong hands. One of my, f my I think my favorite moments from making the film was with Maisie going to, um, going to Ardman to the actual studios rather than the sound booth where we recorded most of it but actually getting to see to meet all the animators to get to see the models these extraordinary kind of tiny scaled models of huge prehistoric towns um, it was it was mind-blowing well, I think there's a bit of um, sort of love at first sight when when Doug, uh, Doug sees Guna the first time, she's on, on the pitch at, um, in, the, in the Bronze Age town in an empty stadium just practicing her skills and she's virtuoso and formidable and I think he's in awe of her and her talent. And, um, and so, but I think through his optimism, she, he encourages her to come and, and, and train his team and educate them and and galvanize them and and through that she gets to show off her virtuosity uh, so yeah it's an amazing friendship there yeah, I think one of the, the the major themes of the of the film is 
that you're better as a clan than you perhaps you are as individuals and that all of individual um, all the individual characters with all of their traits whatever they may be if they're bound together and and sort of channeled in one direction they can do uh, they can achieve um, extraordinary things I think that's a cool message <laughs>